Zenit, Ukrainian, Zenit, Russian, Zenit meaning Zenith, is a family of space launch vehicles designed by the Yuznoy Design Bureau in Dnipro, Ukraine, which was then part of the Soviet Union. Zenit was originally built in the 1980s for two purposes: as a liquid rocket booster for the Energia rocket, and equipped with a second stage as a standalone middleweight launcher with a payload greater than the seven tons of the Soyuz, but smaller than the 20 tons payload of the Proton. The last rocket family developed in the USSR, the Zenit was intended as an eventual replacement for the dated R-7 and Proton families, and it would employ propellants which were safer and less toxic than the Proton's nitrogen tetroxide, UDMH mix. Zenit was planned to take over manned spaceship launches from Soyuz, but these plans were abandoned after the dissolution of the Soviet Union in 1991. Zenit 3SL is launched by the Sea Launch Consortium's floating launch platform in the Pacific Ocean and Zenit 2 is launched from Baikonur Cosmodrome in Kazakhstan. The engines of the Zenit's first and second stages as well as the upper stage of the Zenit 3SL rocket are supplied by Russia. There are plans to use an improved Zenit 3SLB rocket for commercial launches from Baikonur Cosmodrome beginning in April 2008. This service is marketed as land launch. Zenit 3SL has launched 36 times with 32 successes, one partial success, and three failures. The first failure, the launch of a Hughes-built communications satellite owned by ICO Global Communications, occurred during the second commercial launch on March 12, 2000 and was blamed on a software error that failed to close a valve in the second stage of the rocket. The second failure occurred on January 30, 2007 when the rocket exploded on the Odyssey launch platform, seconds after engine ignition. The NSS 8 communication satellite on board was destroyed. On September 24, 2011, Zenit 3SL launched successfully from the Odyssey launch platform under a renewed sea launch project with RSC Energia as the majority stakeholder. The rocket delivered the European communication satellite Atlantic Bird 7 to its planned orbit. On February 1, 2013, another Zenit 3SL failed while launching the Intelsat 27 satellite. History The Zenit 2 was the first Zenit to be designed for use as an orbital carrier rocket. It consists of two stages. The first uses an Rode 171 engine, and an Rode 120 engine powers the second stage. It first flew on 13 April 1985, two years before the Energia, due to delays relating to the Energia's development. Zenit 2 would be certified for manned launches and placed in specially built launch pad at Baikonur Spaceport, carrying the new manned partially reusable Zarya spacecraft that developed in end of the 1980s but was cancelled. Also in the 1980s Vladimir Chelomey's firm proposed never realized 15-ton Uragan spaceplane launched by Zenit 2. Two launch facilities were constructed for the Zenit at Baikonur, however the second was only ever used twice. On October 4, 1990, an attempted launch of a TSELINA-2 naval reconnaissance satellite ended in disaster as the booster suffered a first-stage engine failure seconds into launch and fell back onto the pad, which was severely damaged in the ensuing explosion. The failure was traced to a leak in a LOX line that caused a fire in the thrust section of the booster. Estimated repair costs were about 45 million rubles, but the collapse of the Soviet Union meant that there were no funds available, so the pad was abandoned. Following two failures in 1991–92 both caused by the second stage, the Zenit was on the verge of being cancelled entirely, but a successful flight in November 1992 saved the program. The rate of Zenit launches slowed to a trickle during the 1990s due to the severely cash-strapped Russian Federation, and also because of Russia's reluctance to fly military payloads on a booster manufactured in now-independent Ukraine. On May 20, 1997, a launch of a TSELINA-2 satellite failed when the first stage shut down 48 seconds into launch. The booster crashed downrange. During the 2000s, Zenit would find a new lease on life as the basis of the International Sea Launch Project whereby commercial flights would be undertaken from an offshore launch platform. The basic Zenit booster received several upgrades to the propulsion and avionics systems for sea launch as well as a third stage, and the first test with a dummy payload was carried out on March 27, 1999. In October, a direct TV-1R satellite was orbited successfully. An ICO F-1 Comsat was lost in March 2000 due to a second stage guidance malfunction. 
There followed eight consecutive successful launches until Appstar 5 in 2004 suffered a premature third-stage shutdown that left it in an incorrect orbit, but the satellites on board engines corrected it. After nine successful launches, the Zenit produced a repeat performance of the 1990 disaster when on January 30, 2007, the first stage lost thrust and exploded. The flame deflector on the sea launch platform broke off and sunk into the water. Loose debris had gotten sucked into a turbopump, resulting in engine failure. By the late 2000s, the Zenit program at Baikonur was reviving and would see considerable success. On February 1, 2013, an Intelsat satellite launched from the Sea Launch Odyssey platform in the equatorial Pacific. The nighttime launch performed nominally for about 20 seconds when the first stage abruptly lost thrust. Approximately 40 seconds after liftoff, all telemetry data ceased. Subsequent investigation showed that the Zenit had begun deviating from its flight path when the pitch and roll maneuver started. The onboard computer sensed an abnormal situation and sent an automatic shutdown command to the first stage at T plus 23 seconds, and impact with the ocean occurred about one minute after liftoff. Ultimately, the failure was traced to a defective hydraulic pump that controlled jimbling of the first stage engines. This resulted in the booster starting an uncontrolled rolling motion which caused the computer system to terminate all thrust. Although anomalous conditions began around T plus 11 seconds, the Zenit's flight computer was locked to prevent engine shutdown until at least 20 seconds after liftoff so the booster would not come down on or near the launch complex. Impact occurred about two miles downrange, but attempts to recover booster debris were unsuccessful. In February 2015, following a year of strained relations as a result of a Russian military intervention into Ukraine, Russia announced that it would discontinue its joint program with Ukraine to launch DNEPR rockets and was no longer interested in buying Ukrainian Zenit boosters, deepening problems for Ukraine's space program and its struggling Yuzhmash factory. Strained relations between Ukraine and Russia after 2014 have led to Russian Federal Space Agency intending to purchase no more of the Zenit first stage boosters made by Yuzhmash powered by Russian engines. However two Zenit rockets that have been delivered to Russia for Russian Federal Space Agency missions will still be used, another Zenit rocket for launching a Ukrainian satellite has been completed but without engines due to lack of funding for payments. The world market for Zenit launch vehicles has shriveled since Sea Launch suspended operations, and the future of Zenit is uncertain. Despite the ongoing conflict between the two governments, a Zenit rocket was launched in December 2017, after a two-year hiatus, to deliver Angasar-1. Topic. Production The first and the second stages of the Zenit were designed by Yuznoy and are manufactured by Yuzhmash. Topic. Variants Topic. Zenit 2 The Zenit 2 was the first member of the rocket family. It consists of two stages. The first uses an Rode 171 engine, and an Rode 120 engine powers the second stage. It first flew on 13 April 1985, carrying a TSELINA-2 mass simulator. However the test flight was unsuccessful. The first successful flight occurred on of October 1985. Topic. Energia booster The Zenit first stage was used as a strap-on booster rocket for the Energia carrier rocket. Four Zenit first stages were attached to the core vehicle to produce extra thrust at lift-off, in the same way that solid rocket boosters were used on the U.S. Space Shuttle. Energia made two flights 1987 and 1988 before the program was abandoned. Zenit 3SL Zenit 3SL is a three-stage carrier rocket developed for and used by the Sea Launch Consortium. It combines two-stage Zenit 2S built by Ukraine's SDO Yuznoy, PO Yuzhmash Block DMSL upper stage, provided by Russia's Energia Nose cone enclosure for protection of payload during launch, provided by Boeing. Rockets used by Sea Launch are assembled in Long Beach, California. 
Launches occur from the Ocean Odyssey offshore launch platform, situated at the equator. Ocean Odyssey is also used to transport rockets to the launch site. The most recent launch of a Zenit 3SL occurred on of December 2015. The Rode 171 engine of the Zenit 3SL first stage, and most of the control system of 3SL missiles were made in Russia. However, according to the same source, it is not clear if Russia's component suppliers are still working together with Yuzhmashes of this date. <laughs> Zenit 2M and 2SLB Zenit 2M is a new version of the Zenit 2 with an upgraded control system and modernized engines. The first Zenit 2M was launched on June 29, 2007, carrying a classified Russian military TSELINA-2 satellite. The Zenit 2 SLB designation applies to commercial launches through the land launch subsidiary of Sea Launch, which began satellite launches from Baikonur Cosmodrome in 2008. Zenit 3M and 3SLB The Zenit 3M is a Zenit 2M with the block DM upper stage used on the Zenit 3SL. It is launched from Baikonur. The maiden flight was launched on 28 April 2008. Land launch commercially market the Zenit 3M under the designation Zenit 3SLB. Zenit 3F The Zenit 3F, also known as the Zenit 2SB, Fregat, is a three-stage derivative of the Zenit 2M, using a Fregat upper stage, as already used on the Soyuz, to propel spacecraft to higher orbits. It made its maiden flight in January 2011, with the Electro L No. 1 spacecraft for the Russian government. Later the same year, another launch carried SPEC TRR, a 5,000 kg space telescope, into an orbit with a perigee of 10,000 km 6,200 miles and an apogee of 390,000 km 240,000 miles. The most recent launch occurred on 26 December 2017 from Baikonur Cosmodrome when the rocket lifted off with the Angolian Angasar-1 spacecraft. Topic. Specifications Topic. Overview Topic. Payload capacities Topic. Two stage version Zenit two Topic: Three-stage version, Zenit 3SL. Topic: Launches. Topic: See also. Comparison of orbital launches families. TSYKLON4. National Space Agency of Ukraine